Uh, first of all, take the Sunwalker. Curious Alchemist is pretty cute, but Sunwalker is good. I can't think of a single card I would pick over the Fire Elemental. This card is super ridiculous. Wow. The Flame Tongue Totem is not really my favorite card. Uh, it's not great if you're a Luthan, but these two are mediocre. They'll take it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'll take another one. <laughs> Definitely can't take another six. This card is not very good. I'll take the Geomancer. I don't believe I'll be finishing with Bloodlust in this stack. The Eloon is a six. That's not acceptable. This deck is not a questing deck. Uh, Abomination is usually anti-totem, so Violet Teacher. Uh, Unbound Elemental is pretty good. Morgan Infiltrator also good. Azure Drake, uh, great card. Oracle not so good. Swordsmith good if I can protect it. Doesn't look like I can right now. As a shaman, I think spell damage is possible. Uh, although I have no spells so far. I think uh, it, it might be possible. Oh man, I have a lot of support cards and this is going to end up being a problem if I take Flame Tongue Totem. But I will take it anyways because the Geomancer is just, uh, mediocre. So many Geomancers. I'll take the Cult Master here over the Bloodlust. I'll take the Rock Biter. Uh, Snapjaw versus Knight. I already have a Knight, so I guess I should spread out to Snapjaw. No, I think the Knight's slightly better here. Uh, Unbound Elemental over this two Garbo cards. Uh, more Bloodlust is a negatory. I'll take the Croc over the Rifleman, but I'm not very happy about the Croc. I'll take the Leper Gnome over the Torin Warrior. Um, this is not an aggressive deck, and the Leper Gnome will tend to be a dead card against uh, three of the classes. Actually, maybe four of the classes, even. And they're more of the popular ones, but still. No, I just can't justify picking Leper Gnome. Well, it's good against five of the classes. So tempted to just choose Torn Warrior. Leper Gnome just has absolutely no synergy in this deck. Just no way. Fine. Take the uh, control tech over these two. Knife Juggler over uh, those two, I believe. Yep. The Cobra is really good. But I have no uh, two mana, three attacks first, so I definitely need that. Uh, Fen Creeper, better than Booty Bay Bodyguard. And Dollar and Mage's Garbo. Tazdingo. Yeah. Uh, these cards are mediocre. I'm tempted to choose Elven Archer. Yeah, I've got too many sixes. I'd usually choose Archmage. Elven Archer it is. Cult Master over those two. It's a great card. Especially in a Shaman deck. Um, I would possibly choose not to take Fire Elemental here if any of these two cards are any good. But they aren't. Uh, let's see. With four fire elementals, Wind Fury is actually really strong. Yeah, alright. Ugh, but I sort of need stuff to play. My fours are currently looking fairly fragile. The Silver Moon Guardian is actually a card. It can be played. The Wind Speaker is the greedier choice. Yeah, if I play fire elemental, I'll win anyways. Well, that's not a choice. Alright, Scarlet Crusader for an actual early game good card. Uh, uh, no. I've seen a lot of Priestesses of Aloons in Totemic Mites. And final card, the Legendary! Uh, no weapons in this deck. It's between Black Knight and Sylvanas. The 6 slot is overflowing. The Sylvanas is really good, and I don't have a lot of 5s. It's great. I'll save the obvious downfall, so... No Hex, no, um... No spells. But the big strength is the four fire elemental. If I get to six, I'm going to just win. The people seem to think that this deck will do average, four to five, six. And though it has its shortcomings, I think it's uh, durable enough to get to six. And then I'll just play fire elementals and win. Oh. Fight with honor for Doomhammer. Just gotta get to six! That's all it takes! If I can in any way, I'll try to save the coin for turn five. Fire elemental. Wanna blow something up? Ah! 
It's probably the best uh, use of River Crocolisk to trade with an opponent's 3-2. Well, I mean, even better would be to uh, kill a opponent's 2-1, I suppose. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's like Quinn Sengen is essential here. Yeah, I'm not gonna get away with uh, that. I was a little afraid that uh, secret was gonna be repentance. Let me think. Reporting for duty. This is not to attack. I think I just get use rockbiter weapon to get rid of get down right now. But I would rather only get down with this guy since it's too damaged. Well, here's the problem with playing the flame. I look ahead and he uses that to kill that, uses that to kill that, and he's a minion in my flame tongue totem. Is all right. Basically, flame tongue totem is too vulnerable right now. It's also why I don't like flame tongue totem. The frost wolves stand ready. Got to turn six. Oh, no. To North Rend. Divine favor for one card. That Meh. was a mistake. <laughs> Unacceptable. Ready, sir. Man, I can't remember the last time I've ever played Torn Warrior. Play Fire Elemental, win game. My shield for Argus. Three eight, that's so big. Get in there and fight, maggot. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm going to reduce my exposure to Consecrate in case he has it. Even though it looks like Cold Master could be a supreme value. Be a lot of trading in this turn. Put this apple on your head. Join or die. Or both. Sever my wrath. For the king. Come on. Yeah. For honor. Whoa, no. For duty. That's fire alley number three. Oh, 
Although it's guaranteed with this, it's fine. Lens the sun well. Reporting for duty. Sure, Chab. Send me a uh, message, yo. Hey, it's one of those rare times where two three is better than a three two. Very rare, because usually a two two is not too common. One spell in my deck. The combos, yeah. Me, my ancestors. I don't want to play the rock biter without having the violet teacher out, but that's sort of silly reasoning. Oh man, that spell power. It's gonna get him. Watch out, Jaina. The spells are gonna come flying soon. Pay attention, class. What you want? Oh, wolf grunt. Must you insult me with your presence? Elemental one in the hole. Ready to ride. How adorable. All right, so he's got flame strike. Hmm. For honor. Well, now maybe he's he could be planning to do the three here and then. Finish it with all one. That makes some sense. Also, flame strike also a possibility, of course. Probably would have flame struck there. I'd like to think. So he probably doesn't have it. Now, a ball of fire. For 
Madonna. Instruction begins. Survives flame strike. I have right. no time for games. Survives this turn's flame strike. There's good reason not to hit his face. The reason would be, if you were to sus uh, suspect him, if you were to know that he had a flame strike in his hand, then going for the face would absolutely be the wrong move. Instead, trading down would be the right move. But going off of the information from last turn didn't seem like he had the flame strike. For honor. One shot, one kill. Mm, okay. There's actually a reason I did that. It's because if that was Ice Block, Sylvanas being able to attack would be better. Good hand. One, two, three. Uh, buff when I have the uh, overwhelming board presence. Looks good. One, two, three, four, actually. I hope he plays North Shark Cleric. Well, I shouldn't say that. Mm, that would be nice. Sort of. Would be above average chance that I could deal with it. But presumably, if you were to play it, you would have something to protect it. You like my invention. Hey, catch! <laughs> it's time for a little blood. It'd be nice to throw the dagger here. Bad. Hey, catch! Hmm. You know, take can. That's a really weak board against uh, me. Double kill. Pretty Join sweet. Join or die. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a good reason I had to think about that for a moment to play this uh, place shield master here as opposed to here. It has to do with flame tongue target. All right, divine spirit. Let's go. Let me change your mind. Join or die. As much as it might look it, I didn't place the fire elemental in the wrong place. May my ancestors watch over you. Eh, it's debatable it might be on the wrong side, I should say. Attention, 
class. The general idea is it's usually better to place your minions on the left side because uh, you can get a totem Congo line. Congo line? Going on the right side. Um, also, there's some minor consideration that having the fire elemental be at 6 attack means it can't be hit by Big Game Hunter, which is a very minor consideration. I guess the final thing would be it's unlikely for six versus eight damage to matter. You asked for it. For Doom Hammer. Hmm. Cobalt Geomancer, I think, would be poor here. Well, if I played the Cobalt Geomancer the next turn, I could Rock Biter to protect it, but there's no real point. I uh, eh, it's fine, it'll be abusive on turn four. Thinking two turns ahead. This turn is most likely Rock Biter to take out his three health guy and do a totem. Doesn't change the plan. The more and more I play a flame tone totem, the less I like it because you have to um, not just be in a average position, but actually in a slightly average position for flame tone totem to be good. Slightly above average, I should say. Okay. They'll never know what hit him. For honor. But it is really, really good at securing a victory. Which isn't really a thing, though. Consideration. Bomber unsuccessful. Do you call that a wet Possibility one is Sergeant the Totem double trade, probably with a cult master. What to do? Option number two is Flame Tongue Totem double trade, probably with a cult master. Option three is Fire Elemental and just trade. Join or die! <laughs>
in class. In my what you looking at? Hmm. Yeah, well, clearly I'm going to need to get rid of one of those guys first in case it's near entity. Uh, probably this one. It is not mirror entity. I am clear. Begins. Uh, let's do one of these. I am ready to learn. Instruction begins. Huh, has to do with spells. Maybe. Three spell table. Oh no. It's gonna get you. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> the gates are open. Well, the problem, though, is I really don't want to play Knife Juggler against that. It's sort of a terrible card to have played in that fashion. Still, though. Play Taz Dingo, which will guarantee trade with the uh, guy or this guy. It's better to trade with it. Well, it's not even guaranteed to trade. Could get fireballed. Uh, someone in chat asked, "Why do I value Dark Iron Dwarf so highly if I don't value Flame Tongue Totem that highly?" It's because Dark Iron Dwarf is a four-four, whereas Flame Tongue Totem is a zero-three. Mm. What to do? What to do? My shield for Argus! Hmm, that's a good play, and also very annoying for me. Looks like Holt Master would trade off a 3 3. Uh, it's not awful. It's better than just spending my mana doing nothing, or spending my turn doing nothing. It's okay, I got to turn 6. It's over! <laughs> I 
Oh, it's a guy with three health. Oh no. Drink with me, friend. Shields up. Hmm, amazing. On fourth fire elemental. I actually would not play it at the moment. For the king. Gates are open. Get in there and fight, maggot. Yeah, he kept his hand. That's somewhat scary. That's still, even if he does a first Hello? turn 3-2, uh, I'll be able to counter it with a Cobalt Geomancer. Someday I'll be just like Great. You. It makes me think 2-2s two and 2-3s aren't that apart. For the crusade! It's interesting, both the Unbound Elemental and the Scarlet Crusader will draw the same line from him with a Fire Blast eventually. For the crusade! Most likely. Not always.
no time for games. Your magic shall not save you. Archer. It's actually pretty awesome. One shot, one kill. Well played. Pass me that arc light spanner. Well, the good news is they'll get healed up. I choose not to play the croc. Out of fear of flame strike. I hope you like my invention. He does not have flame strike in this game. Oh, I haven't played a single Fire Elemental, have I? Sony, Blue Bill Warrior. It's popular. Pay attention, class. Someday I'll be just like you. Must cleanse the sun well. Always a relief when the opponent uh, is out of cards. No more tricks. That's the problem with Flame Tongue Totem. It's a two, but it's not a two. Yeah, this entire hand is garbage. This hand is really good. Eh, it's okay. Hmm. 
It's the weeks of experience that have told me that playing the Cobalt Geomancer here first is better. I'm sure that looks weird. Yeah, slightly less good if the opponent's gonna hero ability. One and two. Oh well. So let's start on his side. Whoa! One shot. Huh? One kill. Hmm. I would have attacked the archer directly if I didn't get a taunt at him. I must safeguard the land. Attack. Um, I'll go with this one. All right, Druid. I hit turn six. It's over. Shall I strike? We must cleanse the sun well. So I can kill the bear by attacking with those two in Fire Elemental. Ah, uh, Flame Tongue Totem would allow me to do. Uh, it's, uh, whoops. Hmm. That's 3 5, and then. I do three, and puts it down to four. I put two on it that way. I send that guy over there. That guy kills that. I summon the Senjin. Two, six, eight. Mm. Oh, that's got to be best. I don't want a taunt totem, so I should try to avoid getting one. I mean, I don't want a spell power thing. Hmm. I'm just gonna summon Tazdinga. I've got one. Silverman shall not fall. I must safeguard the land. Dingo! 
Sylvanas Windrunner. You're such a good card, and yet you're not appropriate to play here. Yeah, I mean, you're alright. It's just you're not quite the best play. Handle it! Burn the trees to the ground. Where shall I strike? <laughs> Archer. What? That's insane. Sylvanas cheerleader goes, yay, go team! I must protect the one for Doomhammer. Yeah, that's eh, eh. Uh, what the heck can I do better? I probably can do better than that. I think so. better. Alright, turn one is most likely Cobalt Geomancer. I think I um alluded very ominously or enigmatically or whatever you want to use on why I should turn one Geomancer over turn one Knife Juggler. So the main reason is the Geomancer's only value in this deck is the trade with a 3-2 and a 3-2 is most likely played on turn 2. So if I play Knife Juggler on turn 1 and he plays a 3-2 two, on turn 2 then I trade the Knife Juggler for it, whereas I could actually trade the Geomancer for it. Since he kept two cards, I think it's very reasonable he's got a 2 mana 3 2. If it's a 2 mana 2 3, I have the Rockbiter weapon to solve my problems. So. The Geomancer. Yeah. Oh, this is the same thing as last time, though. Opponent just shapeshifts twice and kills the Geomancer. But this time, if he does that, it'll be a bit slow. DM. There are two possibilities uh, for my play here. Hmm. If I Scarlet Crusader, I have a 50-50 chance of trading the Geomancer for the bear. If I Rockbiter, if I summon a Totem first, I also have a 50% chance, and I have the backup plan of Rockbitering if it falls through. I think the uh, Knife Juggler is important enough that I'll not risk the 50-50. Yeah, that does mean I float a mana this time. That's fine. 
In this particular circumstance where the knife juggler actually successfully hits the bear, the Scarlet Crusader is a better play. But overall this is probably better. I wonder. No play, really. Does he plan to do that again next turn? Hmm. Unusual. For the king! For honor. Where shall I strike? The bears. Okay. Um so ideally I will deal one damage to it. So I can rock fire this guy and kill it. That's a 50-50 chance. If it misses, then I will have to use the knife juggler. Which is fine. Digging for an answer. Uh, as some of you may know, and very naturalized, I actually have been uploading some only drafts. And uh, of course, I have a lot of the uh, better games that I've played. Close ones, win or loss. Although through human bias, I record more wins. That seemed to be a strong turn on his side. We could do that. That looks pretty good. I wonder. For honor. Ah. Yeah, okay. Totoma eats school. Storm and Knight eats night. Ah uh, no, he's got a hero ability. He's also got Starfall. That is not as bad as it could be. So I'd love to draw a card off of Colt Master, but I got Fire Elemental. Fire Elemental is a great card. I hope. Well, there's a 50 50 on totems that help me. That is a totem that helps me. Question mark? Best This hand is pretty bad. 
and he kept three cards, so his hand is presumably fairly good. Uh, I'm going to bound them until it's usually a great card. On this deck, though. actually a little surprised that he skipped turn uh, one, given that he was second and kept three cards in his hand. But it's possible that it was like a 3-3-4 three, three, type hand. We have many secrets. In fact, that seems likely now. Chumpier for us. Well, I've played the one spell in my deck, so. Pay attention, uh, that's just a 3 or 5. It's like worse ogre. I'm ready. I'm not ready. I feel about that though. Shield. Oh my gosh, Elven Archer, you're here again to save me. One shot, one Okay, I've got three more fire elementals coming up. You can't stop them all! Spell damage. Oh my gosh, what are you gonna do? Incredible. It's coming. Oh 
Nice. Get in there and fight, maggot! Savannah's cheerleader! Yeah, your team! Woo! Go team! Hmm. All right, enough messing around. I have no Let's time go. for games. being a nice girl. It just goes to show you that Fire Elemental is really strong. I think it might be the uh, strongest combo. 